One. Four to one, Ethan Brubaker. <coughs> Man. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> well, yes. Has but... Oh boy, which one is this? Is this a shortened version? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. I cut them down. It's just two questions. Um, oh yeah, this is the last one. <laughs> this is number three. This how, do you, how do you expect to stay toned all this time? How, did you, how have you stayed toned? <laughs> <coughs> I think this is a shorter one. So. Yeah. <laughs> is that your point? Snowboard Club is canceled for today. We will reschedule for next week, February 15th. Up for an adventure? Willing to try something you never have before? Thank you. Go on a blind date with a book this February. The entire month there will be books covered, some with topics, genres, and minimal information on the outside available for checkout. For every blind date you check out, you will be entered to win a free drink at the Media Center. Fall in love with a good book. All lost and found items on the table located in the high school lobby will be donated on February 16th. Please stop by the table and claim any items before they are gone. The Jeopardy Quiz Bowl team finished its Lancaster Lebanon League season with the playoffs on Monday at Mannheim Township. I was there. Effort to won a number of close matches on their way to finishing fifth of, of the 25 teams who were there. This was the second consecutive year the Mounts finished in the top five of this event. Combine this result with Effort's third place regular season ranking, and it was truly an excellent season for the Quiz Bowlers. The, next, the team now looks forward to its next Brain Busters opponent on March 14th, Pi Day. Now over to my my best friend and, and close colleague, Ethan the Babe Brew Brewbaker, <laughs> with the news. I got your ear horn, by the way. I'll leave that. Uh, oh, that's good. Heavy criticism has been unleashed against Donald Trump after the President ordered the Pentagon to begin preparations for a major military parade. The parade has been criticized by many on both sides of the political spectrum as being ostentatious and more appropriate for authoritarian regi regimes in nations such as China, North Korea, or the, for or the former Soviet Union. Some have rallied against the president's display of military might, calling him a, quote, Napoleon in the making, end quote. It is unknown whether or not the president has plans to cancel the demonstration. But if you ask me, he isn't too serious because he hasn't asked for these guns yet. Woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry to flex with you guys. Today is the birthday of John Williams. For those of you who don't know who he is, he's a famous composer and conductor. This may sound irrelevant, but Williams is known for composing the unforgettable music to some of the most popular movies in both the 20th and 21st century. He's written scores for Jaws, E.T., Superman, Indiana Jones, Jurassic Park, and of course, Star Wars. <laughs> His influence on music and film is immeasurable because, let's be honest, if Darth Vader marched into any other tune, it wouldn't be nearly as intense. Now over to Ethan Brubaker, Angel, and one of the Pachecas with lunch. You should have said if he was dancing into, uh, if, he, if he was marching to um, pumped up kicks. It would be oh. Uh, oh yeah, and you should. Um, the this day in history side note: the this day in history slide on the presentation has to be updated every time because I only do the news one. Uh, Jonah, did you hear that? I only update the news slide. So the we we bleeped out the uh, buffalo. <laughs> like I put a bleep over it. <laughs> Why? What does he say? It was, so wrong. it was supposed to be three. Oh, shoot. I forgot to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. You just go, oh, I can't. <laughs> Are we going to do this at the end? 
I'll hit you on the kneecaps. We're going to do this at the end. Yeah, we can. Oh, we'll right yeah. So the beat is. So we'll do that twice, and then we'll start singing. So Yeah. Actually. In uh, sports resorts, Tuesday, boys basketball defeated Man Up Central. <coughs> Girls basketball lost to Man Up Central. Yesterday's sports were canceled due to the, um, you know, no school happening from the weather. In rifle, after a loss to Conestoga Valley, 495-496. Top shooters, <coughs> Jitter Ross with 102 centers. Joshua Potts with a 99 and one center. Joel Potts with a 99. Samantha Hurst with a 99. Kyle Good with a 98 and two centers. Today at 11 a.m., we will send an ambulance out to Clay Oberholzer, who is in Philadelphia right now watching the parade. The Eagle Celebration Parade will follow a two-mile path through the center city Philly, ending at the steps of the Art Museum. Officials expect over two million people to attend, so traffic is expected to be heavy until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow marks the opening of the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea. Be sure to tune in for your favorite sports in the 24-hour coverage available across several of NBC stations. Today in sports, bowling is home versus Cedarcrest, Raffles away in Manham Township, and wrestling is home versus Warwick. Now, now back to the main desk. What he said. <laughs> Tickets for the Sadie's Valentine's Dance are now on sale. Ask your Valentine now. No worries if you don't have a Valentine. Groups of friends can go and dance the night away. Don't like to dance? There will be other activities for everyone in the hallways around the gym. Ticket sales will be in the cafeteria February 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th during all lunches. So, it's happening now. Seven, $7 in advance and $10 at the door on Saturday night. All profits go to our Minithon Club and benefits for Diamonds, the organization which funds research for childhood cancer. In irrelevant news, I found this weird golf club in the studio, so that was really neat. Minithon registrations are now available. Minithon, a fun event for students, will be held March 3rd in the middle school gymnasia. James, food, DJ, raffle items, ellipsis. Check the Schoology message that was sent out Friday to all students. Questions? Message Mrs. Mr. Martin or Mrs. Sosie. This, this, this is the last call to join prom committee. We need imaginative people to bring the prom to life with decorations, Create the people to design the tickets and the program, and people who just love music, like our own Ethan Brubaker here, who want to make prom amazing with the best playlist ever. Please, make a good playlist. We will meet today in 240 in room 209. Be there or be square. That's all I have to say. Oh. <laughs> 